Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Ellisonbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The St. Mary's County School Board is taking a longer look at the funding for the 2021 school year. Last Wednesday, school board members met to look over a previous school budget proposal of a recommended $234.6 million. That budget had grown at least $100,000 in the past two weeks from adjustments. Superintendent Scott Smith has made it clear that he wishes to prioritize the pay of school employees and matching the pay of St. Mary's teachers with Calvert County's teachers. Part of the money problem, though, comes from the state funding going down in recent years for St. Mary's County. As the county's wealth index increases, the less funding the county gets from the state. This led to a county proposal for state funds for education receiving $2 million less than proposed. Governor Larry Hogan announces legislation to prohibit Maryland schools from starting before Labor Day. Hogan unveiled his bill, the Universal School Act of 2020, on January 14th. This is not the first time Hogan has tried this policy, though. In 2016, he made an executive order for school to start in September and end June 14th every year. This order was later overturned. However, Karen Myers, vice president of the Education Association of St. Mary's County, a teacher at White Marsh Elementary School, and members of the local calendar committee, says that the counties should have control of their start dates not Annapolis. It is unclear of the Universal School Start Act will pass either the Maryland House or Senate. Two nights after a four-hour planning commission meeting where the public expressed concerns for the Leonardtown 7-Eleven, two Leonardtown residents expressed disappointment for the school board's absence. Melinda Marshallwitz of the Hanover Farms Court in Leonardtown said, I was disappointed not to see anyone from the district at the last meeting. She said there was concern for the, how the proposed convenience store in Leonardtown would affect traffic around Leonardtown Middle School, especially during drop-off time in the morning. It was suggested to open the school doors a few minutes earlier or move the drop-off point further up into the school parking lot. Although the school board members generally do not respond to public comment speakers, Superintendent Scott Smith said he would be at the next meeting about the convenience stores. As the demand for farm weddings in St. Mary's County increases, County commissioners have received a request to change the maximum amount of weddings from 20 to 30 per year. However, discussions at the task force meeting saw how the increase of farm weddings is a very difficult task to complete. Casa Lemmas had this to say about the issue. This is a very difficult issue to tackle and people have very strong feelings about this. A Brave Seniors game winning basket with 1.3 seconds left caps a comeback victory over Calvert. During a season in which she has already reached one career milestone, Chapticon High School senior girls basketball player Caitlin Parada has found ways to come up with big and key moments. Earlier this year, Parada eclipsed the 1,000 point barrier in her high school career. In a recent game against Calvert in Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division Contest, Parada struggled from the floor through the first three quarters, but she scored the game-winning layup with 1.3 seconds on the inbounds pass from Lily Reynolds to lift the Braves to a 55-53 victory over the Cavaliers.